Welcome to So You. I'm Jen, and in this So Useful video, I'm going to show you how you can sew your own protective masks. They're easy to make, and what's really good about them is you can wash them and then reuse them. I made my mask out of old scraps of cotton fabric and bias tape. If you don't have these things at home, don't worry. You can just as easily use everyday objects that every household already has. For example, you could use an old t-shirt or an apron. Instead of bias tape, you can use a shoelace or the cord of a hoodie jacket. Or you could just use an elastic. With a little bit of creativity, everybody can make their own mask. So, let's get started. The pattern of a protective mask is very easy to make. It's just a rectangle that is 8.5 inches long and 7 inches high. The seam allowances are already included in these measurements. I'm using a fabric made out of cotton because you can wash them very hot. I recommend washing the fabric before you use it because it might shrink. In the end, you need to cut the pattern out of fabric twice. That's why I am folding my fabric before I pin the pattern onto it. Cut the fabric along the edges of the pattern. Pin the two long edges together. Sew the two long edges together. And don't forget to secure the stitches by sewing a few stitches backwards and then forwards again. When you're done, cut off the threads. Turn the pieces inside out. Pleat the side edges. I made three pleats that were each about one inch deep. It doesn't have to be very precise. The goal of these pleats is just to shorten the distance, because that part is going to be on the side of your face. Pleat both side edges and make sure that you fold them in the same direction and that the pleats have about the same depth. Sew along the edges that the pleats stay in place. For the ribbon that you need to tie the mask to your head, I am using bias tape. They are very convenient because they're already cut and ironed into place. Cut off two 35 and a half inch pieces.
Fold the tape in half and mark the middle with a pin. Take the mask and put the middle of the tape approximately onto the middle of the outer edge. Fold open one edge of the bias tape and align it with the edge of the mask. Pin it in place. Do the same on both sides of the mask. Sew along the pre-ironed fold of the bias tape. And don't forget to secure the stitches at the beginning and at the end. When you're done, cut off the threads. Do this on both sides of the face mask. Fold the bias tape over the edge of the mask and pin it in place. Fold the rest of the bias tape in half and pin it in place. Do the same on both sides of the mask and with both tapes. Sew the bias tape together and secure the stitches at the beginning and at the end. The bias tape is not only good to use as ribbons to tie the mask to your head, it also binds the edges of the mask in a very nice way. But, as I said, you can just as well use some kind of other ribbon and sew it to the corners of the mask. Once again, do the same on both sides. Cut the threads off when you're done. And that's how fast and easy you can sew a protective mask. I recommend sewing a few of them for yourself because it's important that you change them regularly and wash them in order for them to be sanitary. I wish you all good health, protect yourself and other people, and thank you for watching.